Hey everybody, I'm Greg. It's May 4th, 2021, and I'm going to be doing my first backpacking uh, through hike, I guess you call it. Uh, three nights up on the Superior Hiking Trail in uh, northern Minnesota up to almost the Canada border, Canadian border. So uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTubes on gear and uh, one thing that's been highly recommended and or I'm just going to do it is carry a camp chair. So uh, one that I can uh, backpack in. So I've got six chairs here that I ordered in from Amazon and uh, we'll try and do a quick review of them. We've got, I'm sitting in the uh, Helinox, this is the chair one and I'll kind of use this as a uh, let's say my uh, uh, baseline, if you will. This one comes in at uh, a price of $99.95 uh, from Amazon and damn near any place else. Uh, the, uh, with the bag, it weighs two pounds, 2.5 ounces. Without the bag, uh, as I sit in the chair, it should be weighing about, uh, without me, one pound 15.7 ounces so we're going to call this a two pound chair um, pretty comfortable fairly stable i don't feel like uh, i'm gonna tip back uh, head over ass over tea kettle uh, sitting like this not a, a high inclination uh, feel like i'm going to slide out uh, the one difference uh, in this versus the others is uh, especially the knockoff are the feet on the chair. They're pretty uh, pretty narrow with a, I would say, a tendency probably to uh, sink into some uh, soft ground and, and definitely sand. But uh, again, a relatively comfortable chair, uh, stable, uh, and I even had my wife test this out and she kind of uh, came to the same uh, observation or agreement. Uh, let's go to the Helinox Chair Zero. Up over into this one and my and her immediate thought was it is real you got a poor center of gravity you have a high tendency to tip back on this one the other thing that both I noted and my wife noted is it's tight right here there's no give here it, it's just it, it's just it's hugging your ass and uh, there's no room to grow in this. The other thing is, basically the top uh, bars of the chair here kind of settle right in your armpit. So this is the Helinox Chair Zero. It comes in at a price of $119.95 with the bag. And it's a lighter bag than this one, so just a little nylon bag, cinch bag. One pound, 2.8 ounces. And as I sit in it, without me again, one pound, 1.8 ounces. So we'll call it one, point, uh, one pound, two ounces. So um, definitely a, a lighter chair than this one, but because of the instability, just lack of comfort, this one's gotta go, at least compared to the chair one. So uh, we'll get rid of that. And also one of the reasons for the instability too, and the lighter weight is the framework on this uh, is smaller, shorter, might even be less width here, but just um, definitely no comfort. Really tight in here and basically a uh, tendency to tip backwards. Let's hop over to the two knockoff chairs. And both of these come in at almost exactly the same weight. And so I'm gonna call them a knockoff of this Helinox Chair 1. This one is by Homeful. Basically, they are identical. They're just sold and repackaged by somebody else. Both of these chairs come in at, um, well, let's start with what I'm sitting in. With the bag, it is 2 pounds, 4.2 ounces for at a price of $29.99. So for 30 bucks, chair only, without my uh, weightage is two pounds and six tenths of an ounce. So pretty good comfort. I like the uh, pockets on, you know, I thought it had it on both sides. I guess it doesn't. Pockets on one side. The feet on this are a little bigger than the uh, Helinox Chair 1, so wouldn't sink in as much. Uh, I do feel a, a 
slight tendency to maybe slide forward out of the chair. A uh, little rocky, not too bad. Not bad uh, tendency or inclination to feel like that you're falling backwards in this chair. So uh, relatively, I'd say comparable, um, except for price. Uh, again, we said the chair one, basically a hundred bucks, 70 bucks. Uh, and two pounds and one point, one pound, 15.7 ounces. Basically, they're both two pounds. So for the money, for a couple extra features, the bigger bigger feet on the chair, the pocket here, and also the other thing I like is the little finger loops to help you stretch it onto the frame. And then they might also give you a place to hang something, you know, maybe if you need to dry something up. This chair here by Rock Cloud, let me go back to this one, Homeful is the orange chair. Rock Cloud is this chair. Again, near identical framework. I can't find any difference in the framework. The feet on it are identical. Uh, the finger pulls to stretch the webbing onto the frame. This one does have uh, a piece of Velcro uh, underneath the crossbar uh, where you can strap your uh, bag when it's empty. The other thing that this one comes with, as a, uh, you, you're not required to use it, but it's got these little plastic feet. So if you're in really soft ground uh, or sand, these will keep you from sinking in. Okay. This one has two pockets, and it, it's a slightly different design, or uh, uh, yeah, I guess design of how the the webbing or the seat uh, webbing is is sewn. And I find this to be a little more comfortable. I find less tendency to feel like I'm sliding forward. And it just seems to be a little more stable than, than this chair, uh, and possibly even the Helinox uh, uh, chair one. Uh, not a big uh, inclination to feel like you're, I mean, you'd have to push yourself to tip backwards. Um, and then again, if you, didn't want to use these feet, didn't think you're going to need them, don't pack them. So with the feet and the bag and the chair is two pounds, 7.7 .7 ounces. If we get rid of the bag, it's two pounds, four ounces. If we get rid of the bag and the feet and just the chairs I'm sitting in it, two pounds and 0.6 ounces. So this chair weighs identical to this chair. It's got identical framework to it. The only feature difference is this has one pouch on the side. This has two pouches on the side. A little narrower. Well, this one's a little smaller than this one. Less tendency to uh, slide forward. So basically for 37 bucks instead of 30 bucks, instead of 100 bucks, for me, I think this is the go-to chair. Um, now, if you're really looking for lightweight and comfort and stability, let's go over to the Helinox ground chair. But right now, between the two knockoffs, the Rock Cloud is the way to go. So over here on the Helinox, this is the ground chair. And uh, one caution with this is uh, if you're not uh, fairly limber, it could be uh, tough getting into it. I had a friend try one out. He's got bad knees. He basically fell over getting into this. So this ground chair weighs in with the bag in at one pound, 7.4 ounces. Uh, the chair only is one pound, 6.5 ounces, 6.4 ounces. So the, the bag is about one ounce. Very stable. It's comfortable. Um, no tendency to flip backwards. Uh, gonna pack just a little bit smaller and uh, the other thing is uh, again getting out not too bad if you're uh, I guess if you're able to backpack quite a ways uh, this might be okay but also the way that this uh, framing is designed it can only sink into the ground so far you know if it starts sinking then you're gonna have the full support of these uh, uh, cross members as, as well 
So I think this is for the, uh, the weight conscious. I think this is a very good contender. And this one comes in at 110 bucks. So um, now let's go to the Helinox Mini. I mean, Mini Mini. Um, and I think this is rated for adult weight. Uh, but it's just not going to work for me. Uh, it might be great for, uh, for uh, uh, a child. Uh, with the bag, this is one pound, 1.6 ounces. The chair only as I'm sitting in it is under one pound at 15.7 ounces. Uh, the price on it is $69.95. So for 70 bucks, it's a uh, light chair, but it's just not gonna cut the mustard for me. If I was gonna do this, I just might as well get a pad or something to sit on instead. So this one is, that's a no-go for me. Um, and again, so now it boils down to, so these two chairs, same weight, two pounds uh, as they sit. This one has the option for the different feet. It's got bigger feet, it's got the pockets between the two for 37 bucks instead of 100 bucks. The Helinox is gone. So now for those that are now getting down to a weight issue, this Helinox ground chair, again, comfortable. Uh, I, I like it, stable, <coughs> it won't sink into the ground. And, but we're at 110 bucks. So for 110 bucks, you're buying a chair weighing one pound, 6.5 ounces. For 37 bucks, uh, you're getting a chair with that's higher, a little more natural comfort to it, or familiar comfort, more like more like a chair. Uh, easier to get in and out of. You got the pouches. You have these. Remember, you have these finger loops to stretch it onto the frame. You got these uh, extra feet for soft ground. <coughs> so again, for a finished weight of two pounds and six tenths of an ounce. Uh, you get this for 37 bucks. You want to save 12 ounces, you're gonna have to spend 110 bucks versus 37. If you want to save 73 bucks, but carry another 12 ounces, buy the Rock Cloud. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll practice uh, packing it, see which one works better in my uh, backpack. Um, that might influence uh, which one I buy. But